It's another middle of the week. Seems so far away to me right now. I'm doing this right after the the, the one before it, but how we doing, folks? It's another a more diverse world. Excuse me, video. Uh, we'll probably do this for this. Well, we're we'll doing it for two weeks at least. Um, if we're gonna do it more after that, we'll see. And this is we're. It, it, it seems to be for at least the past two episodes, I've gotten one horribly one guess completely wrong and then the rest have been pretty strong this one mm, it feels like south pacific i just i just i don't tsunami hazard zone so this is in the pacific maybe like ah this we, you took the picture at the wrong time like this could also be the indian it's definitely not the atlantic because tsunami doesn't happen much in the atlantic none of this stuff looks like limestone yet this looks beautiful though i don't know if i'd well it's any time of year it's going to be hot regardless like i got a problem when i think about trying to go to places on vacation what is this like a power box thing whatever trying to go to places on vacation because if i go to like someplace tropical i hate the beach like, yeah, I'll sit there, but I'm I'm definitely just going to... I thought I saw a sign back here. I'm definitely just going to be, like, uh, hiding under, um, un, under an umbrella and uh, reading a book. And then I get people asking me, why aren't you, why aren't you going out? What, what What's wrong? And I'm just, I don't care. The beach is not all that interesting to me. I mean, I'm not going to tell people not to go to the beach just because I don't. I'll find things to do to keep myself busy. But if I was thinking of a thing for vacation, it's definitely not just hanging out on a beach. I don't want to get sunburnt, sand everywhere. It's not fun. I mean, ocean's fine. I'll go swimming in it. I had that problem. I still kind of do too. Of of thinking like how I'm. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I might have. I got to make a guess. This the problem is is there's so many random islands and all of them are so f spread out that it's very possible that I am never going to find out what country or island this is. What's up, buddy? Nice bike. Oh, it's it. What the hell's on your seat? What happened? You like mounting the point? All right, you do you. Whoa, there's a flag. That is not a flag. All right. It's just a striped colored piece of plastic or something. All right, we've got a road here i was just in the middle of potentially starting to talk about something and i've instantly forgot it like if that drives you nuts where like someone starts talking about a story and then instantly forgetting i mean i get it i'm sorry i wish i could remember these things a bit better but whatever it was it's gone now and the problem is if i try to think about it i'll never hear it remember it i have to forget about it in order for it to come back in my mind so I have to think about something else. And the problem here is that I am not finding it. We're at an airport. Well, isn't that great? We're going driving. This is awesome. We're driving down an airport. Um, Tausi. This is like a welcome sign for where this place is. Like, that's a turtle shell. This is like a... Hmm. Well, I gotta make a guess. Problem is, there's so many goddamn islands. Ugh. Eh, only Papua New Guinea. I'm gonna get so n little points here. This is, I, I have no idea. This could be Hawaii. This could be a lot of things still. I've got no goddamn... Oh, we're in American Samoa. See exactly what I mean. I was... I mean, it's on the other side of the American Dateline, but I've never, I don't know what that place is. But that's why you play the diverse world, is to see places you've never seen before. This is probably going to be an extremely low-scoring game. I've accepted it. I hope you will, too. I'm not going to try. This is Africa somewhere. I just don't know where. I suss anything out from this graveyard of Nissan, whatever the fuck these are. Give me a sign, give me a flag. There was something on here. Um, Botang, shit. Oh, it's a Dr. Botang, that doesn't help me. I thought it was like a... Maranatha, 
cold store. Nice. Is that a bed frame? That is cool. Is there a sign? Maybe this guy will tell me a thing. Uh, what, what, what are you selling here? Mobile money is here. Um, Tigo. Okay, that doesn't help me. Ventures. This is like a bounty board. You can buy things. One of these signs has got to tell me at least. Gimmel spot. Nope. Uh, maybe this does. Nope, I just nailed the mic. I'm sorry. It's going to vibrate through. Okay, it kind of stopped. I didn't itch my face. I'm sorry. I'm going to get no points this time. I've, I've said it a couple of times now. Just know I mean it that... God's grace, guess house. Okay, so they at least are Christian. At least part of this. This doesn't tell me enough because the only thing it's ruling out for me is Saharan Africa. If I had to, like, narrow it down. Chinras, Chira Senior High School. Like, uh, wait, is this a city? I did not expect this. Let me, okay, this is a... Suyani West, transforming Ghana. All right. We've got a country. I'm going to click Kumasi. And I think the only thing I'm going to get away with here is that Ghana is such a small enough country that regardless of where I click, I'm going to uh, get a pretty high score. In Ghana, beer means club. That's one thing I like noticing about when I go to uh, other countries is like, what's their Budweiser? So I guess club is theirs. Like I forgot what it was in uh, in Puerto Rico. Christ, I forgot it. Um. All right, let me think here. In Macedonia, the salad that everyone has with cucumbers, tomatoes, and goat cheese. I can't remember anything today. This is driving me nuts. Okay, the beer is the the salad's called Skopska, and the beer is Skopsko. I believe. I mean, give me a break with my pronunciation. I'm trying here. Okay, we're on, actually on the coast, so maybe we're on Cape Coast. Could be Accra. I'm going to click Accra. We're right outside Accra. That's what I'm sticking with. Because I feel like ocean is out there. St. Paul Senior High School. And I wonder if they also have like the same sense, like, okay, the, the Budweiser of this country, that's yeah, garbage, but hey... The cool thing about it, at least in Macedonia, was you can go to the store, a grocery store. They're pumping out techno, like super techno, trance techno, house techno. And you just see a little uh, babushka going around with a little cart. And then you can buy two liter plastic jugs of uh, beer for like a dollar fifty US. Now you got to understand the radio station. That's cool. Oh, we were farther inland. Whatever. For us Americans, what the hell plan is this? This doesn't, leave, this doesn't even look real. Like, this is a man-made piece of art sculpture that, like, things fall in the sky and impale themselves on. That is creepy. Like, you gotta understand, at least from the U.S., that you, beer doesn't come in two-liter jugs. Uh, techno doesn't get blasted in any grocery store. And uh, beer isn't a dollar fifty. I mean, like malt liquor, which I guess I mean I don't know the technical differences between all of them. I feel like this may be Turkey. We'll just say this now, or at least that region of the world. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully, I didn't blow your ears out. No, this is totally Greece. All right, maybe what type of trees are those in Greece? No. All right, we got this here. That. You know, the closest thing to a dollar fifty you can get for beer is malt liquor. And even then, that's just like a beer. What the f- I didn't want to twirl like that. That is so disorienting. It's also weird seeing foreign language graffiti. Because it just looks like, stop doing that to me. This is, no, this freaking twirl around shit's messing with my head. Like, why, why put the number 013 there? I know that's not what it is, but you know, just someone who's not from the country, that's what it looks like. I feel like we're just off the coast, but granted, that's a lot of grease, so not really helpful. Uh, 
uh, none of this helps me. That's the P, I forget what omega sign is. L, E, I. Yeah, I, I don't know what omega is in Greek. I can usually suss it out in the wording because I was there for a while in, uh, I, I pointed this out before, right here in Calithea. Really, I want to see if I can actually see it. I've kind of, I'm going to click like, uh, where am I going to click? I've I've resigned myself to know I've got the country, so I'm just going to like uh, put the difference. Say we're at Lamia. I know we're not, but I just want to see if I can actually see the hotel we were at. All right, Calithea. The thing that blew my mind too is it doesn't matter the uh, time of year. I was in a we took a bus down here, and it was hot as fuck, and uh, heater was blaring. The entire time, I was uh, sweating my ass off, like pulling my hair out, wondering why the hell do you have the uh, heat on? It's it's. I think it was September when we were th when we were there, so it was still pretty goddamn hot. I can't find this uh, restaurant that was or, or this like pastry place. It was so goddamn good. Um, I need to like orient myself here first i need to find that one bar we we're at okay this is gyro that okay now i understand where we are i we had a hotel was it down here maya bay that's where we stayed all right went up the street this is all for me i'm sorry okay let me know this place right here was amazing and just up the street here in this little like arcade area was the only time I've ever seen a four player ice hockey. It was two on two or uh, air hockey table. It was a Sonic the Hedgehog air hockey table. It was so much fun. The guy there, yeah, whatever. I got I got the country right. And, like I, I told myself I was I was fine with that. You, you you went on this little play this little trip with me. Arez. Okay, this is Europe. Portugal, Spain. We're on like a little Mediterranean kick here. And the, the other thing that I, I, I find funny is when you've got like a, a motif or, or a, a plan set out for your, your town and you get to the end and like you're so committed to have this type of like sidewalk, but eventually it comes to a point where you just stop and like, yeah, we're going to decorate our road, but, you know, we get to a certain point, pfft, fuck it, we're not doing it anymore. And then you carry it on past that. Like, I, it, it's just funny to me that you're so dedicated to this you know, sidewalk. Okay, we're in town, we're sidewalks, we're going to go to this. All right, so what do we do when we get to the end? We just stop. Well, okay. I mean, you, eventually you do have to stop at some point. It's just, it just seems funny to me that, okay, we're still keeping this, but at some point they stop building houses. And they're just kind of like, all right, I guess we stop here. Hmm. A vote to CDU. So you got the hammer and sickle. You got the these clay tile roofs. Cafe, restaurant, PL de Bilas. Italy, potentially. No, I don't think... I mean, if you want to find like fascinating political history at least in the past 50 years ever since Mussolini was uh hung from a telephone pole I believe or a light post you know Italy has had a bit of political turmoil in the past 50 years it's been pretty crazy um and I can't tell that this this could be Italy I mean, you go to Italy as a tourist, you visit some shit, it looks beautiful, it's amazing, it's got a lot of history, a lot of culture, food's amazing, but, you know, politically, you look to Berlusconi's antics, you know, that is a car, is that like a Fiat, why is it all held together with door hinges? That is a Peugeot, and is that a, I don't know what you are. 
but you have the type of rims I've seen for sale at a Sears. So, not to diminish what you've accomplished, but, you know, it's what I've seen. So I got I got to put it on this um, location. If I was going to be unusual, I would say it's in... Uh, that's the Isle of... I think it's Sicily is the island there. I may be overthinking it again just because I'm like, oh, it's going to be a place we haven't been before, and if it's really going to be out of the way, it's going to be Sicily. I mean, I don't know. Nothing here tells me this is an island. I mean, it's Arez. I don't know what that is. I'm going to mute the mic so I can just cough. All right, pardon me. I'm sorry. I had to do that. And that thing that I couldn't remember talking about at the beginning of the episode, still don't remember. I probably won't. Uh, Val, okay, I really, this is Italy. It's just, I don't know where. I almost want to, we're on bet hedging now, and I'm just going to put ourselves on the mainland continent, and we're not uh, in Sicily. I mean, we could also be in Sardinia, or Sardina? Am I getting it wrong this whole time, thinking it was Sardina? But whatever. Ten seconds left. I hope we're in the southern part of the country. We're going to find out in... Uh, fuck you, I make my guesses. God damn it. I was right the first guess I had. That's on me. Well, we're, we're keeping the, the trend here, at least, of not completely... Well, actually, I said that we get one that was way off, and the rest has been pretty well on. This one, we have two that are way off. All right, this is not the U.S. Twin Town Oils. We speak English here, though. That is a flat? Nope, that's not a flat. All right. We're in a port city. This is super north. Is this Greenland? Uh, it seems like too many cars for Greenland. Uh, harbor shop for all your daily needs. They spell harbor with a U. It's totally an uh, English thing. Uh, are you wearing any of those Irish sweaters? You are not. You've got Beats by Dre. It says Brooklyn. Brooklyn? No, it, this is definitely not Brooklyn. I will eat my hat if this is Brooklyn. I don't even... Oh, I do own a hat. Never mind. Inish Fobin. Trekking lessons. Lead range. Discover the beauty of Inish Bofin. <clears throat> the oldest form of transport. Equestrian Center is the Dunmore Hotel. Now, Dunmore feels Irish and Scottish as I keep touching the mic. I'm sorry. And Inish Bofin, fucking no. Like Northern Ireland, Scotland. I need, I need some more here. Um, the coast of Europe. The Dunmore Hotel. Oh, fuck this Skellig. God, stop touching the mic. All right. Dunmore.com does not help. Beautiful walking, cycling routes. Canuck Moor, highest viewing point on the... Okay, we're on an island. Stunning, sandy... Oh, we get to see some blowholes, man. Skag rocks and... It's the stag rocks, okay. So is this the Falklands? Not the Falklands, the uh, Pharaoh? Or are we just off the coast here in, like, this place? Wait, does that say John O'Goats? Oh, John O'Groats. <laughs> I want to go there. Um, I don't see that word anywhere. Okay, well, let's look at the pharaohs. Okay, they definitely have more of a Norse slash Icelandic tilt to them. What about um, these? Norse Bay, Dalekberg. None of these things are like the ish, ish kabibble, whatever the fuck it was called. Isle of Iran, is this the Isle of Man? No, Rams, okay. We're around? I mean, Inish Bofin. It, it, it should be like right here, but I'm not, I'm not noticing anything. We're on an island. Craft shop, shepherd's hut. This is like the onboarding location for this island. I.E. Shit. The fuck country is I.E.? 
I'm just looking. I'm not seeing anything here. Um, 30 seconds. It's right here. Like, this is, this is the island. This is the coast of the island. I need to find something that matches that. I don't know if I'm going to, and the problem is, I don't, th it's, it, it's not this. I.E. The fuck's that? I'm, as soon as I find it, I'm going to oh, I.E. This is probably island now that I'm thinking about it, and now I'm done. Yep. <laughs> Very nice to the letter fuck. Inish both. <laughs> oh, that one was terrible. Well. It was bound to happen, and it happened today with a lot of bad guesses. This one was bullshit. I just can never identify Portugal in any way, and this I saw, i.e. Ireland, and then I felt like I wasn't going to be able to click in time. But, hey, diverse world, sometimes you're going to get these, and you're here to watch it. If there's anything that I've missed that you can tell me, listen, you see this, it's this. Again, I'm always, I'm always more than welcoming and thankful for those tips because I will take them anytime. Just the tips. But that's going to do it today for us here on uh, the Wednesday episode of GeoGuessr. Um, again, recording this right after the Monday one. I don't know what happened for Tuesday, if anything did. Because it seems nothing I do for Tuesday seems to work. But if you guys got suggestions, I'll give them shots. Even if you got more of these playlist things, I'd love to hear them. But, yeah, you know the deal. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me. Like I said, suggestions, tips, thoughts, complaints, ponder, pontifications, whatever stupid adjectives they have for words and thinking, whatever. Video's over. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you at least here on Friday, if not sooner. Goodbye.